glad you came back for more. Let's get into something just a little bit more complicated to troubleshoot. Let's say you're still, still troubleshooting the same circuit. You've taken your voltmeter, you've got 12 volts at your battery, 12 volts through your fuse, 12 volts through your switch, and 12 volts at your bulb, but the bulb isn't lighting up. You're looking at it going, I don't understand, my bulb is lighting up. You took your ohm meter and you went from the ground side of the bulb socket to the frame and you have good continuity. What's going on? I have power. I have power from my battery. I have power all the way through the circuit. The bulb is good. The switch is good. The fuse is good. I can get 12 volts all the way up to the circuit where it engages the load. I have ground to the frame. Why isn't it working? Don't forget, you have to come back here. You need a full circuit. It's often easy to skip part of the circuit. Now here I'm talking about the frame. Maybe it's something on your engine. Your engine is in between here, okay? So now you've got multiple connections. Here's your engine block. Maybe this is a light, a light, maybe it's a glow plug on your engine. Here's your engine. Your engine has a connection to the frame as well as your battery having a connection to the frame. Make sure you're looking at the whole circuit. If everything up to this point makes sense, You've got power all the way up to your load. You've got power back to ground, or you've got good continuity back to ground. Try something. Take a little jumper wire, assuming this is a light bulb, and jump it from here to there. Does the circuit light up now? If the circuit lights up when you bypass the rest of it, you know where the problem is. It has to be here. If this is a common point where multiple circuits come to, which if it's your frame, usually is. If none of the lights on your vehicle work, Maybe you've got a bad ground from the battery to the frame, if nothing is working at all. But chances are there's something in here that's not common to another circuit. So pick something that's common and make sure you can confirm or deny that common part is working. My tail lights don't work. My bulbs aren't lighting up. They seem to be grounded to the frame, but my headlights do work. Do my headlights ground to the frame? Do they ground to the same place? Yes, they do. Okay, then I know it's not that common ground. But maybe there's something in between the back and the front of the frame, like a rubber section in the frame. Unlikely, but maybe there's a subframe. Maybe it's a different ground point. Dig in and make sure that all the common points to the circuits are working. If you can confirm a common point, you can eliminate a part of a circuit. Up here on the positive side, this is a fuse. It's likely in a fuse box. Do you have power here? No. Do other circuits in the same fuse box have power that are jumped off of this fuse? Yes, okay, then we know those common points are working. We can ignore the first half of the circuit because it works for other things. Take a look for common points and you'll quite often find you can eliminate a lot of the area of the circuit and focus on the parts that you can't confirm and keep narrowing that down until you can confirm which part of the circuit is either open or partially shorted. I hope you learned something in there. Stick around. Lots more videos to come. See you later.